All right, guys. I've been meaning to uh, get to this. You know, I'm just sitting back on my phone, and then I'm just, I'm just so bored because no YouTubers uploading any good videos right now or any videos that I'm interested in. So I'm just sitting here thinking, you know what? Let me, let me. Uh, I, I want to rant on some of these videos. Now, this, this video, this specific part. Now, I'm just gonna tell you straight off the bat. There's this uh, a grown black dude, right? He's uh, arguing with this young 15 to 17 year old uh, black child here, this black kid. And now, from what it looks like here, it looks it looks different. And looks like a white guy trying to come up to a black guy. But here's the thing: the black kid is a Trump supporter, right? And just listen to this part. This part, this part made me smile, and it pissed me off at the same time. So uh, let, let, let's watch this, and you and I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give you my thoughts. Hold on. Contains racial uh, lyrics about white people, but there yeah. is no black music. Yeah. That can, that, that, there there's nothing no, saying anything yeah. about any black people in any music. And no period. country music. But you can buy it on iTunes. Exactly. Is anybody nope. going to address the double standard? Because I'm going to address the double standard. It's yeah. not about black So why can you get on iTunes? Yeah, all lives. All lives matter. Yeah. All lives matter. Yeah, it does matter, but all lives. Oh, hold on, hold on. You heard that? Did you hear that? Let me let me go back. Like you you, you heard that, right? The, like like this guy is a complete fucking fool. Let me hear that one more time. Yeah, it does matter, but all the others too. Black lives first, then all lives. Black lives first, then all lives. Now, when this whole movement of Black Lives Matter started months ago or a year or whatever, right? At first, I was like, yeah, Black Lives does matter, right? But then I, then I come to realization, what about the rest? Why does it only have to be black? What about the rest of them? What about Mexicans, J Japanese, Asian, Chinese, fucking Vietnamese, fucking Portuguese, like, you know, all of the ethnicity you can think of. What about all of them? Not just, like, to me, all of those ethnicities are on an, e on an even playing field with blacks, right? Every single race out there, to me is equal and should be equal to every one this guy this clown right here saying black lives matter first and then all lives are you fucking kidding me this is this this, this bullshit i can't this is why you know i i really really can't handle this shit this guy had the nerve to say that on camera that black lives matter first and the rest after. So he's trying to say that black lives are at a are at a level and all the other lives are beneath them. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking are you serious right now? Like you're just making it worse and worse and worse. This kid right here said said what I've been saying for months. What about all lives? You're saying unity, yet you're only saying black lives matter and excluding everything else. Why isn't it all lives matter? You know? Every life matter. But yet, this fucking clown here, which is the, he's an embarrassment, period. To, to everything. And this guy is coming out here saying black lives first and all lives after. This guy's a fucking clown. Now, the whole point of me doing this video was also just to rant on this part. But at the same time, I have another video here. If they have a family here, okay? If you looked at what Donald Trump said, if they have a family here, okay? And they investigate them and they realize that they're not breaking the law and the only law they broke was coming here illegally in the first place, then they can pay a fine. Okay, and then they can and file they the proper paperwork and become legal citizens. But if they, but if they came here illegally and they're also a criminal, 
then they can't come back. What, what do you have a problem with that for? That's actually fair. I don't know what the fuck this guy is saying. This guy's the, oh, this stuff. How the hell is that fair? That's that makes sense. If you go to a country illegally and then you did something wrong to the to the law, I do find that right to deport your ass back to where you're from. Because why should someone break the law that's on that's on the country illegally and then stay? That makes no sense. Right? Like you said, pay a fine and then do the proper paperwork and then you could be in the country legally. So I don't know what the fuck this guy's saying about it's not fair. That's yeah, actually that's right. fair. You guys support Donald Trump's proposition proposition to shoot all Mexican birds that are flying over the border so they don't steal food from the American ones? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you guys agree that Donald Trump vows to shoot down American, uh, sorry, Mexican birds so they don't come, they don't fly over to, to America to steal foods from the merit from the American birds? <laughs> Are you? Are you kidding me? Are you no? Are you no? Are you are you serious right now? You gotta be kidding me, bro. Oh my god, America screwed. America, yo, holy shit! I'm gonna quote my friend here. You guys took the biggest L. Four years of L, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> What a fucking clown. How do you feel about his motion to repeal the gay marriage? Like this, like this guy, this interview, this guy, the interview, Nikki. This guy feels, this guy's head, his brain. He must, he must have lost so many brain cells just from hearing these people talk. Like, I, I feel sorry for this guy. Marriage Act, make America straight again. I don't know about that, I mean. I don't agree with the gay, right. gay marriage thing, but it doesn't make somebody okay. a bad person. Yeah, and my my mm -hmm. thing on that is uh, to each his own, but don't shove it mm -hmm. in our faces mm -hmm. for those who don't believe in it. Now these two have said the best thing in this entire. I watched this video the other day. This these two have said the best thing in this entire video, right? Well, at least when it comes to that, because. They said, oh, you know, like she, this one right here, right? This one right here, right? She's like, oh, I don't really agree with it, you know, but, you know, it's like she don't have a problem with it. It doesn't make you a bad person, right? If you're gay or not, right? If you're, if you're gay, lesbian, whatever. And she's saying, you see, she, she doesn't agree with it, but she doesn't find, she doesn't think that you're a bad person for it, right? And she's just saying, this one right here is saying, you know, it's it, it don't matter to me, you know? I mean, do you, but you don't have, to, but just don't shove it in our faces. So I like that answer. You know, they don't care what you do to yourself. They don't care if you're, they don't care what sex you're interested or what you are. Right. As long as you don't shove it in their faces, everything's good. Right. So I, I, I love that answer completely because seriously, it, it, it's probably the best answer I've heard in, in this entire video. You know, you just do you, do what you want. Just don't shove it in our faces. All right? Simple as that. You know, that's why this Black Lives Matter garbage is just going to get worse and worse. So, let's keep going. All right, what about Donald Trump's motion to ban Mexican food? Love it. <laughs> what? <laughs> ban Mexican food. Seems legit. Seems legit. Okay, if he's gonna ban Mexican food, he should ban Chinese food, Indian food, African food, for all I know. Every ethnicity food that's out there, he should ban it. You know, if he's gonna ban one, ban all. You might as well do that, right? Fucking clown. Taco Bell could stay. Taco Bell could stay. 
Even though taco, technically, is Mexican food. Or it is Mexican food. Yet, yeah, Taco Bell can stay. The logic in this guy right here is 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 like that brick wall right here. It means nothing. Yeah, because Taco Bell makes a ton of money. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because the, look, look at it. yeah, because Taco Bell makes a ton of money for the economy and rich people. You are a certified fucking clown. Why do you like Donald Trump? Why do you like Donald Trump? I like the wall. I think it's important. Why? Why? We gotta get rid of terrorists and Im illegal immigrants. Okay. You just can't have that, you know? Yeah. Like, think about a bowl of M&M's. Oh my god. Like, if there's... If there's... Did he just say a bowl of M Can we go back? Did he just... Did he just say a bowl of M&M's? Go back, go back. Let me hear that one more time. Like, think about a bowl of M&M's. A bowl of M&M's? Like, if there's... If there's one, like, spoiled one, or one, like, it's got poison in that, do you want to eat that? <laughs> you don't want to eat that bowl of m So get rid of the terrorists. <laughs> Harry so, so, wait, 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 wait. So he says, a bowl of m ms resembles terrorism. A, a bowl of bad expired m ms that could get you fucked up if you eat them. Right? They resemble terrorists. They resemble terrorism. Are you fuck? This country is screwed, bro. Hillary sucks, but not like Monica. Hillary sucks, but not like Monica. He's the only one that can change. Are you fucking? Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. I remember Trump this part. Hold on. Only one that can change this economy. Ever since. Okay, okay, okay. He says that Donald Trump, he likes Trump because he he feels like he could be the one to to change the economy in the United States. But listen to what else he has to say. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. He's from Cleveland. He's better get a manufacturing job uh -huh. in one day in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Now it's no jobs. Okay, he's saying that he can find, that you could get one manufacturing job in one day. But now you can't find nothing, right? We used to have two million people there. Mm -hmm. We're down to three hundred thousand people. Used to be two million people. Now we're down to two hundred thousand. Bullshit. Kasich is a big liar. He did nothing for Ohio. He mm -hmm. he sucks. And only Trump is the only person that's ever beat the NFL. Trump is the only one to beat the NFL. And this guy, Nikki, this guy is on point. Yes. He is talking about the National Football League. Are you? F mm. I can't. I can't. I can't. How do you go from Donald Trump and talking about why you like him and about him being president and all that to fucking football in three seconds? Are you? I can't. Trump. Uh, Nobody even remembers that. Trump beat the NFL. He's the only one that can change the economy. Is it, is He's it, the only one that can make America great again. Oh yeah. my God. Who's right? Okay. Sort of predicted Hillary's health problems <laughs> before right. they were revealed. I went to a Trump rally to find out what else they know that the rest of us don't. So what do you think is going on? All right. It could be yeah. Parkinson's. It could be MS. It could be AIDS. What makes you think she has AIDS? Uh, the way what? her uh, husband used to be. So you think... Bill had AIDS. Yes. So how did Bill Clinton get AIDS? Probably messing around with uh, Magic Johnson. What? <laughs> Hillary has AIDS, got it from Bill Clinton, and Bill Clinton got AIDS from Magic Johnson. So he's saying... He's, he's implying that Bill Clinton fucked Magic Johnson to get AIDS, and that he fucked Hillary, and then she has it. What the hell? Logic That's man, magic where is it? Yes. Interesting. The Clintons and Magic Johnson. What else do they know? They're saying there's like a double of her. Yeah, do you think there was a Hillary Clinton? There's a double Hillary Clinton? Double? Explain. Yeah. Wow, a Clinton double. Who knew? 
So I printed out two identical photos to see if they could see what we couldn't. And which one's the body double? Say that one. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, bro. They are the same photo of Hillary Clinton. Yeah, this fucking old fuck over here saying, oh, this one's the double and that one's the real one. Are you fucking kidding? What is it about this one that makes you think it's not Hillary Clinton? Oh, shit, these guys are fucking dumb. On her cheek is very obvious and, is and the scarring or whatever this is down in her throat is different. They look a ton alike, right? You're this right. looks a little bit younger. You think this looks younger? <sighs> One's younger than the other. One is younger than the other. Yeah, they're the same. <laughs> oh, yeah. so don't God, you think man. You look at it, something for long enough. And I'm getting. I'm, I'm losing brain cells just for watching this. Yeah, I think something like that's possible. Yeah. Are you Uncovering fucking kidding Hillary's me? Uncovering Hillary's doubles is one thing, but what could they tell us about our current commander in chief? Or uh, Obama mm -hmm. is a Muslim. He's a terrorist. Nobody. What? What? Barack Obama is a Muslim? So he's a terrorist. Will ever tell me different- We don't even know if he's a citizen. Yeah, yeah if, you, if you don't look at the birth certificate, there's almost no evidence there. Exactly. So there's nothing Barack Obama could do to prove that he was born here? Uh, if okay. there was maybe witnesses that were attendants at his birth, like his mother would you are you I don't care what age I don't care how old you are I don't care who you are if you say something stupid I'm gonna fucking go all over this old fuck here saying oh unless there was freaking there was someone there watching the birth happening in the United States. Like there was a witness to the birth. Are you fucking kidding me? So so you so you're basically being the doctors, the mom and the mom herself, maybe the father. You listen to no, the mother? No, 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 no. I mean Barack Obama um was born two years after Hawaii was the the, the final state for America. I did research. Barack Obama was born, I think, 1961. And Hawaii was founded, or to be the last state, in 1959. So, yeah. So you don't trust uh, Donald. And, and I'm actually right. Look it. Look it. I believe so, right? 1960, 1961. Right? Born 1961. Right, Hawaii. 1959. Hold that. Hold that L, bro. Well, Trump's birth certificate either. Uh, yeah, because he's been here forever. Well, how do you know? But how do you? What's your proof? Um. Yeah. What's well, your proof? His parents and. But no, but they they're biased. I'm talking about. No, like, yeah, they're biased. They be biased. Well, like I'm just using your logic against you. Yeah. Okay. He acts like a Muslim. He talks like a Muslim. Uh, he also does the uh, Muslim. He acts like a Muslim. He talks like a Muslim. I don't know how a Muslim even talks at all. As far as jewelry is concerned. Jewelry? Yeah, jewelry. What? Certain months of the year, not wearing his wedding ring. That's a, that's, that's a deep cut. You want me to connect your necklace? So wait. Wait a minute. So he's a Muslim. Because he talks like one, he looks like one, and there's times where he doesn't wear his wedding ring. If I had a camera, the look on my face, I shit you not, you would be surprised at how I look right now, okay? Like this, this is ridiculous this is right now. Your Christianity? Why would you do that? Well, you just taught me it. I didn't even know people were connecting jewelry to religion uh, mm -hmm. Muslims don't wear Is that a Jew watch and one of the most unbelievable discoveries yet Barack Obama had big part of 9-11 we 
I'm done. This video is over. This video is over. I'm done. I, 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 the level of stupidity has a limit. Where I can't go over that limit. Barack Obama has something to do with 9-11. Wow. Wow. Okay. Why is that? Which part? Not Can you no elaborate? Always on vacation, never in the office. He's never in the office. But he's always on vacation. Okay. So, are you saying that because when you watch the news, that's when you see him in office? Or, when, or whenever you watch the news, you always catch him on a plane going to a different place? Because he, because I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be in the office a lot of times as president. I could be wrong. But what this guy just said was completely illogical to me. Why do you think Barack Obama wasn't in the Oval Office on 9-11? That I don't know. We'd like to get to the bottom of that. Wow. Mind blown. And best of all, they can back up these so-called conspiracies with iron oh, really now. sources. Oh, what's your source? Well, well, um, yeah, what's your source? Facebook or Twitter. I mean, I, everything. F Facebook and Twitter. So you trust Facebook and Twitter to get the information to, to which led for you to say what you said. Ironclad. So you're saying that Facebook and Twitter... Whatever they posted about Barack Obama is fact. Rule number one. Never trust shit on the internet. And I... So you'll look at, like, facts and bullshit and you'll put it all together. Exactly. So outside of having no proof, what proof do you have? I don't have any. You don't have any proof? My opinion. Your opinion. Do I have Your opinion. Proof? No. Do I have articles? No. Yeah, proof? But your mind no. is made up no articles, without any no. information. My mind is made up. Good enough for me. God. I'm done. Click the subscribe button. Click the like button.